okay which of these gas samples has a higher temperature so of course it's this one here because it's the particles are moving faster so because the particles have higher kinetic energy which is proportional to the absolute temperature they also which is pr uh, proportional to the speed squared so to, to, to get a measure of the absolute temperature we need to measure the, the average speed of the particles okay to find the average speed we're going to use something called the root mean square speed um, the reason why we need to use the root mean square speed is if you try to find the average for example the sample here so if I did the average here so minus 5 plus 2 plus minus 1 plus minus 1 plus 5 again I, the total there is 0 so even if I divide that by 5 the average there is 0 so that's like saying the average speed of the particles or velocity of the particles is 0 meters per second which should, which would imply that this sample of gas has a temperature of 0 kelvin which obviously is true because you can see the particles are moving so this is why we use the root mean square speed instead to figure out the root mean square speed what we do is you square the speeds first so and then add them up so 5 squared um, and because it's minus 5 squared it just the negative doesn't has doesn't have an effect when you square it so 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 5 squared then you find the average of this so let's divide that by 5 and then you do the square root of that and this should give me 3.35 meters per second and we call this the root mean square speed so when we find the root mean square speed we will we go in this direction here so we find the square first and you find the mean of the square and then you find the square root of that so what is the kinetic energy if each particle has this mass here so the kinetic energy of each particle is equal to half times 5.31 times 10 to the minus 26 times this 3.35 which is the average speed which is found squared so that gives us 2.97 times 10 to 25 minus 25 joules so now note that this is the kinetic energy of just one particle and if I wanted the whole sample that energy of the whole sample I'd have to multiply it by the number of particles